Hey, hey, everybody, it's Overkill here with the first look at Oriental Empires, or my first look, I suppose. Um, we're going to be playing a campaign today, or starting a campaign, and we are going to be playing as the Zhu, or Zhu, or Chao, Zhao. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. There's apparently quite a few pronunciations, but I'm going to be saying Zhao because um, that's the most common one that I've seen. Um, of course, I don't speak Chinese, so I could be completely wrong, but we're going to be playing as the Zhao. Um, so yeah, increases the virtue of all new leaders by one. We have farmers, and our chariots uh, have 20% to kill chance. Now, this is a four-time strategy game, uh, kind of like Civilization, but um, that's basically the extent of my knowledge. I've played a few turns on it, um, so I'm not a master at the game, but uh, I feel like that's a bit better anyway. But here you can see, um, greetings! Uh, you are located in the land between the passes, uh, uh, between the passes, a fertile river valley surrounded by mountains. By quickly dominating this space, you can form a solid base for wider conquest. The only nearby rival is to the west. You might consider placing your first settlement just to the west to block them, but there are better spots further east along the river. Whichever direction you choose, if you can place your settlement within three hexes of a rhinoceros, fi uh, rhinoceros fish, or wild game resource, you'll be able to exploit it for extra income or food. So yeah, um, I can't. I definitely can't explain how to play the game. This is definitely not a tutorial, but um, I'm going to try my best to, um, you know, show you guys the game properly. Um, so basically, this is our first city and our capital, Fangjin. Fang Fangjin. Um, so from here, if we double click on it, um, you can see this is our, you know, our map view. Um, so all these little symbols here are uh, farmland that we can, you know, expand on. Uh, if we go over here, these are the buildings we can construct and what buildings we currently have, which are none other than the city. And here are units that we can recruit. So I'm quickly going to go ahead and recruit a civilian so that we can create another city around here. So that's what I'm going to do first. And uh, what do we start off with in terms of military? Uh, oh, we actually already have a... Uh, we already have civilians, so okay, that's good. And we start off with just um, a bodyguard for... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Oh, that's another settler. Okay, so we start off with two, rather. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and send him over here. And the other one I'm going to send this way. So that way we have two cities this way. Um, we do have another clan or family, dynasty, whatever, over here. Um, and we're going to be dealing with them. Um, so yeah, for my general, uh, I think I'm going to recruit him a couple of units. So let's see. Um, we don't want to go too crazy because we don't want to waste all of our money. Um, these noble axemen would be thirty; would cost thirty-five upkeep. You can see uh, this is our economy here, um, so that would be, you know, with th those would be really nice to have. But I think we're gonna go for two militia light spearmen. Um, this is the diplomacy screen. I don't know any of any of the other families, so I can't enact in any diplomacy yet. And here's the technology and culture. So you choose one of each of these uh, things: power, craft, thought, and knowledge. Uh, so yeah, let's just take a look at what we can get. Uh, we can get seeding transplantation, increases farm food production by 5%. I definitely want that for power. Uh, we can build the silk weaver, increase our cul uh, culture by 1, and work with jade. Hmm, that might get us money, I'm not quite sure. Increase culture by 1%. Uh, this gives us the ability to clear forests, so that's good to have early on. Um, for our thought, we're going to go ahead and get yin and yang. Because that leads us into um, this, that leads us into hot cold theory, which um, saves 10% of our men in battle, which is good. And yeah, so then for this, we're going to get um, maybe horse domestication. No, let's go for the co uh, composite bow. So we can also issue an edict, but grand commandment isn't act isn't that great right now. It does put down the authority. Um, forever, but it gives us a general character, so, hmm. But it also costs money, uh, upkeep, so we don't really want to use that right now. So this is our, um, our finances, so this is our income, you can see most of it is from other, and our expenses are nothing right now, which is good, but next turn, that's going to be going up. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and expand our farms a little bit. So let's build a few around here. I'm not quite sure of any specifics, like what's good to do that, but uh, yeah. We can also go ahead and build uh, things outside of the settlement. So for example, this pavilion, 
Uh, a pleasant place in the hills to visit will calm the minds of the lords and ladies who visit. Why worry about politics when the living is good? So that increases our noble happiness by 10% and we score one cultural victory point. So uh, noble happiness is nice to have, so we're going to go ahead and get one of those. Oh, there's no suitable sites. Oh, no, there's nothing left. Okay, that's what it means. So yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and end the turn. Oh, we don't have orders for our general here. And by the way, this is very zoomed out, but as you can see, if you zoom in, you can zoom all the way in on these people. And they're actually pretty well, uh, pretty nicely detailed. Um, you can see there, the faces are actually pretty nice. I mean, like, you can't expect too much detail from a game that you can zoom out this far. Like, so it looks really good. And then there's all of our civilians. Uh, little caravans are going to set up new towns and stuff, but uh, yeah again guys. Sorry. This isn't a tutorial to play the game um, by no means All right, so now all of our guys are uh, moving in real time and also all of the other um, Faction stuff is moving in real time. Oh, those would be our troops that we ordered. They're uh, moving. I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine Our general can link up with them, but yeah all the other factions are moving in real time as well like that which is nice Oh, hey, stop. Uh oh, a suggestion. Uh, recruit another settler. Yeah, we actually did that, so thank you. All right, here we go. As you can see, the map is really big as well. Like, this is all playable area, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get our troops to not be there. They're going to link up with him. And then the settler is going to come over here, and I'm going to get him to settle here. So then these guys, we can get him over here, and that way he'll create a new city around this area. Alright, so you can see our income went down a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, so let's quickly take a look. So our noble unrest is a little bit low, um, because of dissatisfa dissatisfaction, that's from local factors. But that is fine. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna recruit one unit of militia. Oh, I actually can't. The next one is in seven turns. All right. Well, I'll do that then. Um, and yeah, we're building some of these, so we don't really want we don't want to overwork our workers because apparently that is a thing that can cause a lot of unhappiness if you build too many things. Um, so we're definitely gonna try to not do that. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and link up our our army. And yeah, you can see it just happens in real time when you do that. And uh, eventually we may see bandits, but uh, right now we don't. One of our farms was uh, was built, so that's good. Uh, and now we can go ahead and set up our new town. There we go. So Haojing. Again, I don't, I can't speak Chinese, so I don't really know the proper pronunciation for all of this. But uh, yeah, so this is the land that uh, Haojing controls. Uh, then Fengjing, of course, and then our third town. We might as well get that one set up as well. Oh, I was actually going to set it up here. All right. Maybe I should actually get over here. That I think that would be a better place. That would get us closer to all of this other stuff as well. But yeah, and Haojing. Um, let's see. What buildings can we build here? We could get a bazaar. And that would help us uh, trade some things that we have. Uh, I'm not quite sure of the resources available, though. I don't think there's anything over here. No, it doesn't seem like it. So that doesn't that's not quite worth it. Maybe over in this one would be a good place for a bazaar. Um, but let's see. What else do we have? We have a granary. Um, that'll help out with food. But uh, we don't want to worry about that right now. We could build a bowyer um, to get uh, archers. But again, not really something that we need to focus on. So uh, I think we're just going to wait. And uh, yeah, let's try to find some bandits, shall we? Uh, not quite sure where they are. Haven't seen any yet. Yeah, I'll get these guys over here. Oh, m did my unit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's still a few turns until we can recruit a new militia unit. So I'm going to get the guys over here. And I'm going to be really upset if a random bandit shows up over this way. By the way, another thing about this game that I absolutely adore is the music. I'm a huge fan of... Um, like Eastern music. I love Shogun 2's theme song, or theme song, uh, soundtrack, sorry. And I love uh, the show Marco Polo. The music in that is amazing. The, intros, uh, the intro to Marco Polo gives me like chills. I love it so much. So the music, I could listen, I could play this game all day just to listen to the music. Uh, I really do like it. So we have Rhinoceros here. 
Um, that gives us 60 extra uh, money, um, which is quite good. So we're going to go ahead and build a bazaar. I'm not quite sure if that's, you know, the best thing to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, our income is looking quite nice. Um, so yeah, we're just going to continue to try to spread out. Try to get as many uh, settlements as we can. Uh, would I be able to recruit a new civilian? Yes, I could. Can I get more than one? Oh, I don't want that many. Maybe just two. So we'll end the turn again. Oh, our uh, army does not have orders. So let's get over this way, I guess. I want to find some bandits. I want to show you guys combat. Because it is really quite interesting. So nothing yet. Um, we do have our new settlers, though. So we're going to get one of them up this way. Um, and then the other one. Where would we put the other one? We could get them across here. That sounds like a good idea to me. Oh, am I messing this up? Yes, I am. Okay. Why is it doing that? Oh, never mind. No, they're they're set to go their separate ways now. All right, good. So yeah, bin, 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 bin. Uh, that's being set up now. So let's build a couple of farms there. Uh, let's actually check the public order. Oh, not very happy. Noble unrest is quite high. Distance from capital, insufficient authority. Right. Okay. Is the other place really upset as well? Yeah. Okay. It's very upset. Uh, insufficient authority. Yeah, again, I'm not, I, I'm not quite sure what you do. Like, I, I'm not quite sure what I need to do to make this all better. Um, because I did just start playing the game. So I'm sure I'm looking like a real idiot. Uh, okay, so we could actually recruit some militia spearmen. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll actually get a couple. And then I'll ship them over to uh, our other towns. And that should help with the public order. Yeah, alright. Oh! They, what, they build instantly? Okay. I'm quite confused right now. Uh, so how happy is Feng Jing? Not happy at all. Very upset, actually. In insufficient authority. And then there's peasant unrest. Why is this happening? Like, I I really don't understand this game right now. Labor service. So should I... Okay, I'll cancel building these. How about that? Does that help at all? Probably not. It doesn't look like it. I'm very confused as to what I should be doing right now. Anyway, let's end the turn and see. Oh, everybody's spreading out. Okay, I'm not quite sure that's what I wanted. Nope, the soldiers accompanied the, um, the other guys. That's not what I wanted at all. Oh, actually, no. Well, they were on their way there, so never mind. But I did, I did say to leave some. But anyway. So yeah, the nobles are very upset here very upset because of local factors I have no idea what that could mean there's nothing you can do to directly affect them oh great okay oh my authority okay I uh, I expanded too fast okay so I'm not doing that I'm not building any more settlements yet then oh okay whoops well that's a big mistake that's not good at all um, not good that I did that Alright, I'm not building these settlements yet, then. Yeah, so let's get all these guys back here. Okay, that was my mistake. Definitely not a good idea. Um, so... Oh, the peasants are upset. Ugh. Oh, am I, am I not suppressing? Suppression. Is that not happening? I'm very confused. I don't understand. I don't quite understand this game yet. Hmm. All I do know is we need to we definitely need to get our authority up somehow. Um, but again, I can't quite find any 
I can't find any bandits and stuff, which is not fun. Yeah, so this kind of sucks that I uh, it's taking so long, but or taking so long to get off the ground. But I'm not quite sure what I need to do. So what would the palace do? Add one to all of those. Okay, nothing really too useful then. Um, stores food to feed the population for up to two turns. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, if we have to deal with rebels, that, that would be bad right from the beginning. I wouldn't be too happy about that. Oh, finally, we found some bandits. All right. Okay, so this place is happy again. Or not happy, but, you know, at zero. So what about the rest of the places? 30 and 22. Okay, so our authority, I guess, is a bit better then. But yeah, we finally found some bandits. One unit of spears. So I'm going to get these guys to come over here. And I'm going to get all of these guys to start marching up this way. These guys are going to come this way. Alright, so let's end the turn again. Because yeah, I want to get in a battle. I want to show you guys the fighting mechanics in this because they're quite they're quite good. I like it. So yeah, it's it's up again because we left, but that's fine. Yeah, and see it shot right up. I get I guess I really do need a I really do need a new general in here. Or just someone that can help with authority. But yeah, we're going to go fight these guys. We're, we're saving up a nice bit of money at least, which is good. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so we actually have a few things here. So I'm definitely going to want to go for authority. Is there anything here that gives me authority? Yeah, I need that. Definitely. Um, do any of these knowledge things give authority? Yes. Okay, so authority is very, very important. <laughs> I now know this. Um, we could get an armorer, but we don't really... I don't think I need to worry about that right now. More authority. Okay, we definitely want the authority things. That allows us to build more places, and it keeps our public order down, it seems. So, yeah. That's something I didn't know, so we are learning, which is nice. Oh, people without orders? Excuse me? Oh, would that be... Would that be these settlers? Ah, that's fine. Alright, so we're gonna have a battle probably next turn. I'll get these guys to move up here. Um, so how's it looking now? 11%? Okay, good. 29? Okay, yeah, it's gone down. Oh, excellent. Okay, that's good. We can actually clear land now as well. Um, but yeah. Sorry, guys. I, <laughs> I'm not quite... I'm, I, don't, I don't quite understand everything in this game yet. But, uh, yeah. That's fine. Alright, so this is how we win. We're actually first in cultural. That's pretty good. Second in points. And third in the other things. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh. An auto-manage stuff. Don't know. Don't quite know if I trust the AI to do that, but anyway. Uh, yeah, let's have, let's have a battle. Oh! Oh, we have a new tech we can get. Uh, anything for authority? Hell yeah! Alright, good. Thank you. So yeah, let's have a battle. That's fine. Alright, so when they get close enough... Yep, here we go. The battle to the north. So if we zoom right in, you can see all the individual soldiers marching forward. And these would be the rebels here. So if we get a nice... Nice shot here. So the forces are gonna charge! Ah! <laughs> so yeah, of course it's not... It's not Total War standards of like combat animations, but... Compare this to Civ, like it's a it's a Civ type game with real time bat not real time battles I guess, but like you know battles like this and it's entertaining to watch. Uh, I really do like it. We are taking a lot of casualties though. Um, it would be nice if my noble axemen were in the fight, 
But they're sitting back here, uh, kind of letting the peasants die, which is bad. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and speed it up, and we won the battle, so that's good. Uh, I feel like we probably lost a lot of guys. We had a narrow victory, 17 to their 20. That's not good at all. Um, that's actually very bad. So yeah, I definitely want my general to be like in the center and actually fighting. Um, but let's turn the grid back on. And let's, uh, let's get him up there to finish those guys off. Alright, so how do I actually check, like, my authority and all that stuff? Like, that's a, that's a good question that I really don't know. That's okay, so that hides that. That's good. There's a compass in the corner here. So yeah, how do I check that? Number of settlements, own population, military strength, battle slot. Because I, I have no idea how you know that stuff. So that's our technology, and it would be really nice to know. <laughs> that's treasury. Like, it's not here. I have no idea. Oh, wait, did it just say my authority? Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to get our authority up. But, uh, yeah, public order is a lot better now. It's, at, it's zero everywhere, so that's good. Except for here, 27. Why is that? Phoenix sighting. Oh, okay. So that's actually going to be fixed, like, this turn, basically. Um, yep. Okay, so we're going to have another battle. So let's see if we can get the general to actually fight. Nope, he's going to send in the peasants first. Alright, well, whatever. We're going to lose a few guys again. How many did we lose? Because I don't. I if I lo if I lost too many, that would suck. Clear victory. Okay, we lost five that time. That's not too bad. Um. So yeah, let's finish these guys off. Hopefully. Uh. Any more pop up anywhere? Not that I can see. All right. So I think we're gonna go ahead and find. Uh. We're gonna found a new town. What is this? A uh, famous scholar lives here. He may be able to teach you new secrets. Move a character to this hex to initiate the encounter. Oh, okay. I'll actually do that then. There's also one here. Hmm. Okay, I didn't know that either. That's quite interesting. Right, so... Oh, we actually can't settle anywhere around here. That's not good. There's too, too many mountains. Hmm. So maybe I'll send this settler up this way, and we'll see. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and set up a town here, and yeah, we'll see where we go from there. But yeah, I definitely want to figure out how these work. I don't know if you can if the general is considered a character. You can move him there. That would be quite nice. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and found a new town. Uh, Ki Zhu uh, Zhu Zhao. Kijau? I don't, I don't know. I, I, told, I said I was going to pronounce it a certain way, and I can't even remember now. Um, so yeah, that did put up the... That did affect the public order, it seems, but that's fine. Oh, that's broken. Okay. Oops. Um, but yeah. This is a... Um, yeah, it doesn't make the people happy that you have that there. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, we're making a bit more money at least. That's good. And we have our guys. Oh, there's a new general here. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's why the public order got a lot better. Oh, because I, I think I founded the town on that that like person, so that's that's not good. Uh what is wild game? Three extra food for a settlement that owns this resource. Okay, good. That's cool. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and keep moving up here. That guy's moving down that way. All right. So yeah, I really do. I really need to encounter the uh, the family next to me, so that maybe we could start a war or something eventually. Not right now, obviously, but soon. Oh, public order is a bit messy everywhere, and this one's really messed up. I can't see it at all. 
Oh, okay, there we go. Nothing I can change there. Hmm. Okay. Um, so yeah, what's going on over here, then? Dissatisfaction, local factors. Oh, it's the noble unrest that's the bad one. Local factors, yeah, I can't change those. And then our authority, okay. Um, do I not have any soldiers here? I do. I'm going to send this guy over here. I'm going to end the turn. Alright, so are we going to get this? So does that count, or is there something else that is a character? Encounter, alright. Uh, noble lord, I am honored to receive you. My studies of nature have revealed great secrets that I would be happy to share with you. I only ask for a small com uh, recompense from the fruits of my labor. Pay 383, we get horse domestication. Uh, oh, I can't check. Well, I'll take it. Why not? There we go. So horse domestication was finished. Because of that. Okay, so what did that give me? Oh, extra authority. Okay, perfect. So maybe that'll help with the pu whole public order problem. Maybe not. I mean, I don't know. What previous grievances? Okay, so even if they're... Even if something's fixed, it still stays for a while. Alright. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff you gotta, you gotta do in this. Alright, let's get these guys going over this way. So yeah, we do have a decent income. It's not amazing though. Um, it would be nice to get that up. But uh, yeah. Let's see, where do we have like good resources? I don't know if you can trade rhinoceros. Hmm. Oh, actually, could I expand? No, maybe? Oh, okay, good. So I can expand here. That would give me extra money, I think, if I expand this farm and get next to the other rhinoceros resource. Oh, uh, who's not moving? That would be these guys. Uh, I'm going to set them to explore on their own. So let's see what they find. Let's see what they find on their journeys. New pounter, uh, pounter, new power encountered, the Shang. All right, so where are they? Oh, over here, hello. Oh, it's a, it's a general, interesting. How do they feel about us, the Shang? They're polite, they're equal power. All right, uh, what can we get? Oh, that's me offering. Um... You want uh, fraternal harmony? Oh, okay. Uh, recognize me as the emperor. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. No, no, no. You recognize me as emperor. That's what it is. Um. Yeah, they're not. They're not going for this. Oh, oh, for two hundred they would though. Hmm. Cannot agree to this, but that was... Okay. Interesting. No, 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 I'm not offering to become... Imp or offering for them. I want them to recognize me. Yeah, so I could give them... Yeah. Cannot agree to it. So, but it's all in there. Hmm. Oh no! no. I keep, <laughs> I keep doing it the wrong way. I do want them to recognize me as the as the emperor. That would be nice. 
Um, I'll pay you like quite a bit if you actually go through with that. Cannot agree. Maybe it's like older Total Wars where if you mess up, if they if they uh, deny you once, you just can't do anything with them for a turn. Maybe that's how it works. I don't know. Um, can I not put this down like anywhere? Get them up here, I guess. Um. Oh, how's the uh, public order? Okay, it's going down. It's not too bad. Okay. It would be nice if I could get the Shang to um, recognize me as Emperor. That would be excellent. Oh, we finished some progress. Um, so yeah, let's get the- let's try that again. Um, recognize me as Emperor. Uh, tell me where your capital is, and I will pay you handsomely. See, now, it's all for- it's all in their favor, but yet they wouldn't- they won't do it. Oh, no! Oh! Son of a bitch. Oh, that was a big waste of money. Ah, oh, damn it. I would literally get- if they accept this? Okay, there we go. So they recognize me as Emperor. Okay. Good. So they won't attack me. And they recognize me as the Emperor. Okay, so that's good. I think that uh, helps with your stats a lot. I did waste a lot of money. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, see, there we go. Um, we're first in the Son of Heaven victory. We're 20% on a, we're actually, we're 20% towards winning. Wow, that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, so let's get this guy over here. Let's try to find the, uh, family that's over here. But yeah, that's good that they, um... That they support us. So can I get them to show me where their capital is so I know where they are? Um, can I see this please? No, they're not gonna... Yeah. Oh well. So yeah, I did end up wasting a lot more money than I would have wanted to. But, that's fine. We're now seen as the true emperor by another clan. So that's good. Or family. I don't know if they're called clans in this, but... Yeah, that's good. Uh, so research, let's go for this. Let's see. Uh, we definitely want to get this so that our, uh, casualties aren't so high. Uh, any more authority? <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, so we definitely want to go for that. The Priest King, so let's get this. Alright. But yeah, it's going good. Um, so, could we place these guys anywhere? Oh, we have a spot over here. Okay, we'll we'll settle our new town there. Um, let's also go ahead and start trying to connect these places. And we're also right next to the new rhinoceros, so that's good. I don't think it actually gave me any new money, though, which kind of sucks. But, oh well. So yeah, we'll probably set up our new settlement, and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and end end the episode. All right, so we finished another progress. Good. Uh, in power, so let's see what else can we get. Reduce effects of floods by fifty percent. Okay. Uh, that gives us the edict for chariots. Ooh, that could be useful. Yes, let's get that. That would give our nobles chariots. That w that is quite nice. All right, we're gonna continue to march through the woods here. Um, these guys are gonna settle down. Make Shang Yang nice. All right. So Shang Yang has a little bit of you know unhappiness, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, okay. So let's um. Let's recruit a couple of units. Um, this will put my income down a little bit, but... I do want to recruit some guys. Actually, why am I recruiting a new unit here? I don't need to do that. Let's cancel that. And let's just recruit two... Oh, I can't. 
Okay, the next would be in eight minutes. Okay, well, I'm gonna recruit that guy and send him up here anyway, just to help out. And, uh, yeah, so let's end the turn again. And yeah, it is very nice that we have the support of these people. Very good. I do want to get over here and get these gold mines as well. That would be nice. So we still never found that other clan, um, which is fine. They may be over here. Maybe, maybe they're like through a mountain pass or something. Um, but I do know there's another one over there. Okay, so Kijau is, um, undefended actually. I didn't notice that. I do have a couple of units here, so maybe I'll send one up that way. And then we have a general here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and send these guys up here. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. But uh, yeah, guys, that's the end of the episode. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, as always. And if you're enjoying uh, the uh, ancient, uh, bleh. if you enjoyed this uh, this episode of Oriental Empires, make sure you subscribe because for the next like six days, I'm gonna be trying to get out as many videos of this as possible. Because on the 14th, we are not allowed to post any more content of it, which is a real shame. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>